Ford Nation comes to Sun News. Fasten your seatbelt because this is going to be the most exciting hour you've ever seen on television. Embattled Toronto Mayor Rob Ford gets his own TV show. Everybody has skeletons in their closet. Mines have been exposed. I can't speak for other councillors, but if council wants to strip all my powers, do whatever they want to do. I disagree with it, but you know what? They have their rights and I think it's wrong. I think it's uh, illegal. But the people are going to have their say on October 27th. I return every phone call that comes to my office and I'm going to continue to do that and go to the people's front door to serve them. The man who's been under fire after admitting to smoking crack cocaine, buying illegal drugs and driving after drinking alcohol wants to set the record straight. And no, you're not seeing double. He's brought his brother with him, Toronto City Council member Doug Ford. He's gone through what he's gone I think through. the biggest thing is I, I, I admitted I've done drugs. I've made mistakes, but I don't think, you know, that uh, anyone else is, uh, you know, any different. It, 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 it's, it's hypocrisy at its best. And, and, and I'm not proud of what I've done. It's very humiliating. But, uh, you know, being fiscally responsible down at City Hall, and let's call a spade a spade here, the majority of councillors down there are left-wing tax and spend socialists. That's what they are. And there's a handful of us that are fiscally responsible. And if I was one of them, as you know, there's some councillors down there that have been criminally charged. Nothing wrong with that. I haven't been charged. Be warned, Ford says he might run for Prime Minister one day.